welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are seriously connecting with katiba that's for sure okay look this new you got them saying that you changed as if you were supposed to stay the same like for one i salute you I salute you on your growth. I salute you on your evolution. I salute you on being better than you was last year, better than you was five, ten years ago. Because a lot of people, they don't grow. A lot of people in the world, a lot of people in society, they don't grow. Growth is very uncomfortable. Change is very uncomfortable. So when you did it, when you hit them with that switch up, it made them very uncomfortable. It opened up a door of possibilities as to what they could be doing. Understanding who you are and where you came from. They never even seen it possible for themselves. So when they seen you doing it, it made them uncomfortable because it's like, oh shoot, well, I can be doing more. It makes them uncomfortable because now they have nothing that they can relate to you about. They say you changed as if you were supposed to stay the same forever. I commend you, okay? You went from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Like, you went from a caterpillar, got up in your cocoon, and you evolved into a butterfly. It's not many butterflies out here. I can see why it made them upset. I can see why it made them uncomfortable. You looking real foreign out here to a lot of folks. You were once a caterpillar as well now you a butterfly it's given alien like it's given who are you they ain't never seen no butterfly like that before not up close and personal not that they know personally they say that you change as if you were supposed to stay the same but really that change made them uncomfortable it made them feel like that you don't like them no more that you don't value them no more that you don't want to hang around them no more and maybe that's what naturally happened but it's it's not like a oh you don't like them no more it's just that you don't have much that you can relate to them about anymore you are focused on different stuff like your focus changes every so often you might have somebody where and that's the thing like the way that certain people were depending on you, y'all were kind of there for each other on every single level. But now you realize everybody can't be your everything. So you might have a friend where you can talk to about this. You might have a friend where you could do this with. You might have an associate where you can relate to on this about something totally different. And that's okay. They say that you have changed and you did. <laughs> you did. It's no shame in your game. You maybe once have felt a little bad about it, like, oh, you changed because, um, like, you really had to walk away from a lot of people. You didn't walk away because you just like, oh, no, I don't like them any anymore. You walked away because you wanted something different. You want to experience something new. You want to experience something on another level. And the level that a lot of people was on it wasn't where you wanted to be anymore you want to see new things you felt like you were in a bubble you didn't want that bubble no more so absolutely you changed absolutely you was acting brand new absolutely you was in a good way though in a good way you discover so much you learn who you are like you learn what it is that you want and what it is that you desire you wouldn't have been able to do it any other way you were spending too much time with these people you didn't have a thought process of your own back then you didn't have things that you did because you wanted to do or things that you liked because it was what you liked it was a lot of influence and not to say that influence is bad because you still get influenced but you get influenced in a different way now. Now you like to get influenced by people who are where you want to be. Like, now you like to have your circle real, real tight. On people who gonna, like, uplift you. 
It was a lot of fakeness going around. It was a lot of entitlement because of people's titles, because of who people were, because of like how long you may have known them. You felt a sense of entitlement, but you don't feel that way no more. They say you changed, you sure did. And it ain't no shame in your game. And I do not blame you, okay? (laughs) I do not blame you. I commend you for changing. I commend you for acting brand new. I commend you for getting new friends. You're not the one who's going to say no new friends. Now, you may have a friend or two that you have known and loved for a very long time. But it's no shame in your game of meeting new friends. It's no shame in your game. Because for what? (laughs) Like, for what? Like, somebody please make it make sense. Why do people, like, I mean, I guess I just said it, but I don't know. It's all in the mindset, and that's the thing. There were certain people whose mindset was steady and stagnant. And as you start to learn new things, things started to come to you. You started to watch stuff. And you were like, oh, no, it's more to life than this. It's more to life than this. It's more things out here. It's more experiences that I can get. It's more places that I can go. I can be whoever it is that I want to be. I don't have to be stuck in this. A lot of people want you stuck where you were because they are stuck where they are. They are doing the same things. They are going the same places. They are. It's the same thing, a different day with them. And with you, it's always something new. It's always something different. It's always something different. You always doing something. (laughs) You always doing something. Whether you in your creative bag or whatever, like you always doing something, okay? You always doing something to take yourself to the next level. You just, you you like to experience. You like to experience new things, okay? And I don't blame you. But they say you change. A lot of people feel like you be doing too much. You, you might feel like they ain't doing enough. And you may feel like you ain't doing enough. (laughs) You might, like, so because they can't catch up with you, because they can't get on your level, It caused some people to want to bring you down to where they are. They want to bring you down to where they are. They wanted to make you feel bad about the decision that you made on a subconscious level. Like a lot of it, blame your spiritual awakening. It was nothing that you can do. It happened naturally. (laughs) It happened naturally. But they want to kind of make you feel bad or just kind of push it out to others that you're something different. Just because majority of the people around them are the same. Majority of the people around them are the same. So when they see you being different, when they see you doing stuff different, they're confused. For one, they're trying to figure out how you even know about that. How you even learn about that? What gives you the confidence to do that? What gives you the confidence to be that? What gives you the confidence to say that? What gives you the confidence to go there? Who do you think you are? (laughs) That's what it turns to. It turns to a, well, who do you think you are? Because they ain't never seen it be done before. It's nobody that they know in their circle that has done it before. There are some people who have tried certain things. They have attempted certain things, but they failed at it. So now you got certain people waiting on you to fall waiting on you to fall off. And as time progress, the clock is ticking. You ain't fell off yet. You might have slipped. You might have tripped. You might have got bruised. But you got back up every single time. They waiting on you to come back. They waiting on you to give them a call. They waiting on you to be who you used to be, they want that old you back. They want that old thing back that they once had with you, not knowing that you're a totally different person now. And who knows who you're going to be in the next 10 years or what you're going to be interested in or who's going to be your friends or what you're going to be doing. But it's probably going to be more. 
<laughs> it's probably going to be more and you're probably going to be even further away from them. So they saying that you change is if you're supposed to stay the same. But I don't blame them because it's what they see. A lot of people around them do stay the same. A lot of people around them, they are in a cycle. They are in a cycle of being who society wants them to be, not exactly who they want to be. You change, but you happy with it. You content with it. You feel like you heading in the right direction. You feel like you are the most happy and content that you have been in your life thus far. But they don't get that. They're like, it must be fake. It must be fake because how could you be without those who you love? How could you be without your old friends? Like, what do you mean? (laughs) What do you mean? You are fine with you. You have grown to love you. This stuff wasn't taught in school. And it was barely taught in the household. It was taught the hard way in the household. It's the self-love that you have. For me, I commend you. So look, don't ever let nobody make you feel no type of way about changing. Change is good, okay? (laughs) Change is good and to each his own. Somebody might not agree with me. Well, change could be this. Well, change could be that. Well, whatever. Whatever it is that you agree with is fine. But in my eyes... I'm up for it. I'm up for the challenge. Although it may make me uncomfortable, I'm up for it. Like, I know when I get too too deep in my stagnant energy, like, I don't feel like myself. So, you want to feel like yourself. You want to, like, embrace your soul more. Then you're going to do whatever it is that it takes, no matter who may be hurt in the process. And I don't blame you. So if this video resonates, if it hit different, let me know how so. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. If you have not already signed up, I have $300 waiting for you with a qualified Chase banking account. You have to open the account using my link though. It's down in the description box. You have to have a qualified account. You cannot request money from me, okay, y'all? Read the directions, it's very, very simple, okay? I'm, we're not going to even over, overcomplicate this. People have already signed up and their money is on their way. And people have already gotten, um, people have already gotten their chime. So I do still have the $100 for a limited time with chime. The number one mobile bank app, okay? It's my favorite account. I ain't going to even lie to y'all. But look, $100 with the chime. Click the link down in my description box to ensure that you get it. That is all I have for this video. Stay spiritually you. Stay spiritually in tune. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.